partners. This is it another session to understand two more examples on designing the Turing machine. The first is a language of this kind a power and v power m c power m plus m. So the summation of these two has to be equated to this. So that is the first problem we are going to solve. The second is to check whether the given word and it reversal or there are the components of a string. Let's say if w is equal to 0, 1, 0, it's reversal again, 0, 1, 0. Okay, so whether the words belong to this type or not. So a short recap of what a Turing machine is. If not, go, go back to our previous video to have a detailed understanding. So Turing machine is nothing but the combination of finite automata along with a two-way accessible memory in the form of a tape. That's what we mean by Turing machine. So formally, finite automata will have Q sigma, delta, Q naught and then F. So this two-way accessible memory. So how, do, how are you going to represent the blank states and what are the type of symbols that you are going to permit on the tape? So totally Turing machine is a seven tuple. So that is about the Turing machine. Already in our previous session, we have designed the Turing machine for two languages. This is our third example. We are going to see how a Turing machine can be designed to accept strings of the language. L is equal to A power N, V power M, C power M plus N. So what does it mean? So the number of A's plus the number of B's has to be equated to the number of C's and here the condition is m comma n greater than 0 so at least single a and single b should be there so the language goes like this you will have a minimum of 1a minimum of 1b so this is 1 and this is 1 so c will be you will have two c's okay then you can have single a double b so you'll have three c's then Double A, B should be there, you will have three C. So C, number of C's that is present in a string depends on the total number of A's and B's that you have. That's a simple contact. Let us assume a word A, is a power 2, B power 3. So that C has to be equated to 5. So the total of A's and B's has to be equated to C. So initially the tape will look like this. 2 A's followed by 3 B's followed by 5 C's. And the input pointer will point to this. The context is very uh, simple. We are not going to bother about how many A's and B's are there. No uh, similarity. Rather, number of A's and number of B's put together has to be equated to number of C's. So, when A is there, it can also be equated to C. When B is there, it can also be equated to C. So, when we find the A, we can replace it with X as usual to understand that we have crossed an A, moved towards the right, C replace with Y and then move towards the left until you see an X. So if an A is there, again replace, then move until you see another C. So replace it with Y, then move towards the left. Again, after X, now you have a B. So no matter of whether A is seen or B is seen on the input, again we can change it to X. Move towards the right, then C, change it to Y, then the same process continues, B gets changed to X and then Y, then finally the last B gets changed to X and then the final C gets changed to Y. Now that when you move towards the left after X, you will have an Y instead of either A or B. So what does it mean? All the A's and all the B's has been crossed, right? So move towards the left, sorry, right, until all the Y's are skipped off. Okay, now if you see a blank symbol after the Y, it means all C's are also being stripped off and hence the word has been accepted. In either case, let's say if the number of A's and B's together is more, you will be ended up with a blank symbol without a Y, in which case you can throw an error or else if you see if you can't see A and B and you are left out with C alone wherein C's number of C's is greater than the sum of number of A's and number of B's, again you can throw an error. Now let's try to draw the Turing machine for the same. From the initial state Q0, the first symbol that is expected is an A. 
when a is seen we will replace it with x move towards the right so while moving towards the right i may see additional a's on the input and also b's on the input i have to skip everything and look for a c when a c is seen replace it with y and then try to go to the left so it is q2 now while moving towards the left so what are all the symbols that is seen you may have b's on your input and you may have a's on your input so this is for the first time a gets replaced by x move towards right skip all b's the first c you convert it into y and then move towards the left skipping b's and a's and you have to do this until you see an x when an x is seen you can take a right turn to reach the next symbol next symbol if it is a you can replace it with x and keep moving towards right now this time what will be there on the input is an extra a's b's and previously converted y's okay so i'm adding y slash y over here then once the c gets converted to y the second c gets converted to y while moving towards the left the previously converted y's will also be there on our input so this is how we have to add now this process continues until a power n and c power n gets matched now after some point when you complete traversing all a after x you will have a b instead of that now when a b is seen again the same kind of process has to continue but this time with b not with a so what will i do after x while reaching x that is the state q not when i see a b on our input replace it with x and then move towards right reaching a new state q3 so what does it mean we have started looking at b's skip all b's and then skip the previously converted y's because some y's are converted or some c's are converted as part of or equivalent to a's keep moving towards the right until you see an c on your input if it is seen replace it with y start move to moving towards left reach q4 while moving towards left you will have previously converted y's on your input along with b's on your input so how long should you skip this until you see a x when x is seen what does it mean you have to so how long this needs to be skipped it is till you see an x now you have to be bit careful when i see an x if we take this back to q not what will happen you can have mix of a's and b's that means a b a triple c will also be accepted but this is not as per the pattern of the language so when a's are over it should be followed by only b followed by c that is the pattern so in order to retain that when an x is seen now that i am going to create one more cycle this is when x is seen move towards the right expecting another b when a b is seen replace it by y and then move towards right and this cycle continues until you have as many number of b's on your input b will be replaced with y and b's previously converted y's will be skipped c will be replaced with y and then keep on moving towards left until you see an x and the process continues okay so here b should be replaced by x now once everything is over okay now after x instead of an b what will be seen on your input is an y okay when y is there keep moving towards right skipping all y's all y's you skip finally you should expect a blank symbol right enter into a final state that's how the turing machine 
has to be designed for the language L is equal to A power and B power and C power N plus M. That is from Q0 to Q2. Okay, Q0, Q1, Q2 to Q0. It is for accepting A power N and C power N. Then from Q0, Q3, Q4, Q5 to that is a follow up. It is for accepting V power M and C power M. And from Q5 to Q6 to Q7 is for completion. A very casual example. L is equal to W, W power R. What about W? It's an element of 0, 1 whole star. What does it mean? Any strings of this which belongs to or which is taken from the string 0, 1 can be W. And what is W power R? It is the reversal of W. Meaning that if you have 1, 1, 0 as W, what is W power R? 0, 1, 1. If it is W, 1, 1, 0, 1, what is W power R? 1, 0, 1, 1. That's it. Now, what are kind of languages that belongs to this W uh, language L, which is W, W power R, which means 0, 0 can be there. Right, 1, 1 can be there. Because 0 is a W, its reversal is also there. 0, 1 is there, its reversal is also there. 0, 0, 1, 1. 0, 1 means 1, 0. Then 1, 0, 0, 1. Then 1, 1, 1, 1. Then 0, 0, 0, 0. And it goes on. So any string, this will not be part of this language. Any string, if this is W, this is W power R. This is W, this is W power R. This is W, W power R. W, W power R. So, it is very casually called as a palindrome. In English strings, if we write Amma, then Madam, this one, we call it as even length string. So, AM, if you take W, MA is its W power R. These are odd length strings which are not part of this L. Because you have a W, it's reversal. So, when the length of the W is N, 2N is the total length of L. Okay, any word that belongs to L. So, automatically you will have only even length strings. Now, let's take one example. Now, let's take one word W which belongs to this language. 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0. So, this will become W and this will become W power R. When it is written on the tape, it will appear like this with the input pointer in here. Now, how do you check whether the word and its reverse are correct? So, the first symbol of a word should appear as the last symbol, correct? The second should appear as the last but one, the third, third to the right and it goes on. The concept is that we don't know what is the length of W. We know the fact that the first symbol should be the last symbol. The second symbol should be the last, second symbol from the last. That's the fact we know. So what we can do when the first symbol is a zero, I can replace it by blank. Move towards the right until this blank symbol because this is the end marker. Okay, move towards the left, check whether whatever you have seen, if it is 0, again 0 should be there. If it is 0, replace it with blank. So, what does it mean? The first symbol is equivalent to the last symbol. Now, move back and then check what is there available as the next symbol from the blank. If it is 1, replace it with blank. Move towards the right, till the blank you move, take a left turn and then this one you replace it with blank. So, what does it mean? 1 is equated to 1. If you keep on doing this, this will get cancelled, this will get mapped and this will get mapped. You will have only blanks left out on the tape. So, that's the procedure how computing machines are checking the equivalence. Now, come let's design that. From Q0, there are two possibilities. Either you may see 0 or 1. Let's draw separately. 0 if you see, replace it with blank, move towards right. So, the system has seen a 0. 
So what would be seen on the way? There are only two symbols that are possible. 0 and then you may have 1. Skip everything. Move till the blank symbol. When you reach the blank symbol, take a left turn and then move to the last symbol. Now what is expected is another blank. Sorry, 0. Okay. If it is again 0, what does it mean? This is the first symbol and the same symbol is what I am seeing on the tail. So move towards left. Okay. So while moving towards the left, see what does it mean? What we have changed this 0 to be, this 0 also to be while moving towards the left. Okay. So what would be seen on the way? It is all zeros and followed by 1s. So, I will be skipping all zeros, move towards left. I will be skipping all ones, move towards left until a blank is being seen. So, when a blank is seen, move towards the right, okay, this part. And then try start reading from the next symbol. So, this time it is not zero, but it is one. So, you cannot write the same over this link. If you write here, what will happen? It will be a mix. For a 0, 0 will not be mapped. For It may be mapped for another 1, 2. So, you have to draw another side where if you see a 1, replace it with blank. Move towards right. Okay. So, again, on the way you can have zeros. On the way you can have 1s. So, if you see a blank symbol, again take a left turn while moving towards the left. Okay. So, if you see a 1, it means an equivalent match has been found. So, most continue moving towards the left, skipping all zeros on the path, 1s on the path. And then, when a blank is seen, do the procedure again. So, this part, Q1, Q1. Q2, Q3, okay, and then to Q0. It is for mapping 0 with 0. And then from Q0 to Q4, Q4 to Q5, Q5 to Q6, Q5 to Q0. It is for mapping a 1 with a 1. That's it, okay. When you can't find and mapping, let's say if you see a 0 but an equivalent is not there, so you will stack up with either Q2 or Q5. In both the case, you can take the system onto a dead state. From Q0, if you see a 1, from Q5, if you see a 0, you can move to a dead state. That's it. Very easy way of designing a Turing machine. Stay tuned for more updates.